This video shows you how to replace the multi-plate clutch and the actuation piston of the MAN compressor with clutch. This video only shows how to replace the multi-plate clutch and actuation piston. The preparatory work required is shown in a separate video. Please carry out the work in an appropriate clean environment. Use special tools TC13 and TC13-1 to lock the clutch unit. Use an 18mm socket to release the retaining bolt of the multi-plate clutch. Loosen the retaining bolt by hand. Remove the multi-plate clutch. Remove the release bearing. Insert the special tool combination TC12 and TC01 into the solenoid opening. Mount the special tool combination TC20 and TC20-1. Use compressed air to remove the actuation piston. Take care to exert even pressure so as to avoid tilting the actuation piston. Remove the tool combination TC12 and TC01. Remove the tool combination TC20 and TC20-1. Remove the actuation piston. Check the piston surface for damage and scoring. Check the hearth teeth on the compressor drive shaft. Mount special tools TC21 and TC22 on the compressor in order to install the new actuation piston. Lubricate the sliding surfaces with a small quantity of engine oil. Insert the actuation piston by hand, being careful not to tilt it. Make sure you install the actuation piston the right way round. Remove the special tool combination TC21 and TC22. Insert the new release bearing. Take care to position it correctly. Place the new multi-plate clutch unit onto the release bearing and hearth teeth.
tighten the retaining bolt to the drive wheel by hand. Apply the tool combination TC13 and TC13-1 to lock the crankshaft. Tighten the retaining bolt with an 18mm socket and 15Nm torque. Now carry out an angle adjustment of 60 degrees. Remove the special tool combination TC13 and TC13-1. Ensure that the hearth teeth are assembled correctly tooth in tooth.